Now, if you're without the laws and you have only your calculator as the device to help you, what you can do is substitute 5 and 6 for x and y. So we have the ln of x times y. Well, let's try the ln of 5 times 6. See what it gives us. Okay, 3.4. You may have an intuition it's adding the lns. So let's try ln of 5. Be sure to close parentheses. So it's only the ln of 5 plus ln of 6. Oh, we get the same thing. So ln of x times y is basically the ln of x plus the ln of y found out through your calculator. I need to show you this because this is a mistake a lot of you guys will make unintentionally. So I, if I do the ln of 5 plus ln of 6, your calculator thinks this entire term is in parentheses, 5 plus ln of 6, gives us the wrong answer, just to keep this in mind. Okay, ln of x over y. So we have an intuition using the ln of 5 divided by 6. You think it might be 1 minus the other. So let's do ln of 5, again using parentheses. So we close the parentheses there, minus ln of 6, enter. Okay, cool. So the ln of x over y is the ln of x minus the ln of y. Again, use parentheses. Cannot emphasize that too much. ln of x to the y, so we're going to substitute ln of 5 raised to the 6. And you think that might be 6 ln of 5, so let's give that a shot. 6 ln of 5, oh, same answer. So the ln of x to the y is the same as y ln x.